This is your cell. That's your cell when you drink too much water. Overrated is overhydration with water. You can drink too much water? Yes, especially when you don't consume electrolytes with that water. When you drink too much water, you overload your cells and organs and they're not able to process all of the water, causing them to burst. The sodium content of your blood becomes dilute. This occurs when there's a higher concentration of water outside the cell and during osmosis, water rushes into the cell, fills it up, and it pops. A few signs of overhydration are gonna be headaches, nausea, vomiting, frequent urination, going to the restroom too much, clear pee, so if it looks like water, you need to get some electrolytes in, and cramping. Underrated is going to be not consuming electrolytes. Common electrolytes include sodium, chloride, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Electrolytes are essential for controlling your fluid balance, regulating your blood pressure, helping your muscles contract, including your heart, and maintaining the correct acidity of your blood. As the name suggests, electrolytes are gonna help the electrical signals in your body function properly. Electrolytes are gonna help your cells perform osmosis, so that exchange of water and ions in and out of the cell is gonna be able to do that correctly and in the correct balance. And if you're consuming a lot of water as a result of maybe you're working out a lot or you're taking a certain medication that makes you really thirsty, then consuming electrolytes with that water becomes even more important. Electrolytes can be consumed in food and drinks as well. A pro tip is if you are consuming electrolytes in the form of a drink, especially when it has sugar in it, go ahead and dilute that drink one to one. So that means equal part electrolyte drink to equal parts water. 